Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to my stop on the not too shabby August 2021 box of the month, video hop, and giveaway. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at all of the contents of the kits and see what I'm going to be creating. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. On Friday, I shared a peek of the kit over on the Not Too Shabby channel where I created this edge to edge shaker card on the inside, I used some iridescent sequins and little pieces of ephemera from the kit. I will link this video in that description box below if you want to check it out. Today, I'll be making another card using the kit, but before I tell you about the products that I have chosen, let's go ahead and take a look at everything in this month's kit. First up in the kit are these enamel dots from Gina Marie Designs. I like the more muted colors and the fact that they're matte finished and not glossy. Now the next three items are all ephemera packs and some of the images repeat but they're in different sizes. So you have kind of a regular, an extra large, and then a small version of the ephemera. This final package is the small size and that is what I used for that shaker card that I shared earlier in the video. This month's box comes with two 4x6 clear stamp sets. You might recognize some of the images from the ephemera and there are also coordinating sentiments in each set. These are definitely artsy girl related. You get two paper pads this month. The first one is a four by nine slimline paper pad. These are single sided and you get two of each pattern. The second one is six by six and it has 24 sheets as well, but these are double sided. And here is a look at each side of the pattern papers. These are just so fun and I'm loving those little girls. And last but certainly not least this month is the exclusive stencil designed by Miss Ink Stamps for the kit. There is a fun variety of masks on the main stencil and then you also get the cutouts so you can stencil outside of that image area. Are you inspired to get your hands on this kit? If you are, I do have a link in the description box below and you can either buy a single month or you can subscribe and save a little bit more money. Now also in the description box is a coupon code that you can get 10% on most things the Not Too Shabby Shop. You can't do it on the kit since it's already discounted, but they sell products from many other companies as well as their own exclusive products. For my card today, I will be using this paint splattered piece from the Artsy Gals 6x6 paper pad. I will also be using the jar of paint brushes from Brighten My Day, as well as probably one of the sentiments from here. And for the inspiration for my colors that I'm going to be ink blending, I will also be adding this paintbrush to the front of my card and using blue and pink when I blend. And speaking of blending, I will be using that exclusive stencil and I will be using this shape right down here in the bottom right. As I start the process, I will tell you if I bring in any more tools or products, but as always, if I leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. And don't forget to keep listening because I'm going to tell you how you can be entered to win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop. The first thing I'm going to do for today's card is use the stencil and do some ink blending. This piece of white card stock is three and a half inches wide by four and three quarters inches tall. I will be using Gina K Designs inks in Passionate Pink and Turquoise C. And if you like my little brush holder here, I will link something similar in the description box below. 
While I work on the ink blending, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with more information on the hop and the giveaway. I believe there are nine of us total participating today and to get to the next video or actually all of the videos on the hop, all you need to do is click on the hashtag in my description box below. It says N2S Artsy Girls. It's what shows up on screen. And when you click on that, a page will come up with all of the videos with that same hashtag. So what you'll want to do is visit each of the videos, watch them. I know that everybody would appreciate a comment and a subscribe if you don't already. And once you've watched all the videos, you'll click on the raffle copter link, which should be in everybody's description box, and fill that out to be entered to win. One lucky viewer will win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. I really hope that you'll choose to visit all of the videos and get entered to win. Since I am still ink blending, I thought it would be a great time also to stop by with the QOTV or question of the video. I would like to know today, what is your favorite item from this month's kit? Leave me a comment in that comment section below and don't forget to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV. This is a super tough one from me because honestly, I love each item from this month's kit. I just love this theme. But I would have to go with the Brighten My Day stamp set, which is what I am using today because I love that jar of paint brushes. Once the ink blending was done, I then did my stamping. I will be stamping the jar of paint brushes onto a scrap of vellum and then the Brighten My Day sentiment I'm going to stamp below my ink blended area and I chose to set the stamp up off to the left. Now normally for this sentiment I would have used VersaFine Onyx Black but because I already had the stays on jet black out for my image I just decided to use that for this sentiment as well. After the stamping was done, I brought in a pair of small scissors and I trimmed the excess white from the outside of the ephemera piece and then I also trimmed out the jar of brushes from the vellum. Now that all of the elements were ready, I could put my card together. Off camera, I cut down the pattern paper to fill the card front and I cut a black mat for my ink blended piece. Once I had all of those layered together, just flat down on top of each other, it was then time to get my jar and my paintbrush put on the front of the card. Because you can kind of see through the vellum jar, I brought in my art glitter glue with a fine tip and I tried to just put lines of glue behind where the stamping was on the front. This way when I place it down on the ink blending, you can't really see the glue, but you can still see some of that ink blended color through the jar. Now for my brush, I wanted to pop it up off the card, so I brought in some scraps from some mini dimensionals and I placed that over to the right side with the end of the brush hanging a little bit down into that white space. And finally, to finish off the card, I brought in some enamel dots from the kit and because where the pink and blue met, there's a little bit of purple, I chose three of the small purple dots from the package. And here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card and getting a look at the new box of the month kit from Not Too Shabby. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to click on that hashtag in the description box below to keep hopping along and be entered to win. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.